Today, I'm really excited to bring you guys a four-part series, and this is the first one, talking about each of the greenhouses I have on my homestead. And the neat thing about these greenhouses is that they really span sort of a novice to expert level in their construction and their performance and even their cost. And in this video series, we're gonna get through all of this in great detail. This version on YouTube here will be quite a bit shorter than the version we have posted at fromthefield.tv. If you're curious and want to see the extra content there, head over to fromthefield.tv and check it out. We're gonna start with a basic summary of each greenhouse. We're gonna talk about the exterior and interior features. Then we're gonna talk about the performance of that greenhouse. Then we're gonna talk about the cost. And then we're gonna go through the, all the materials are the primary materials that are used and the stages in which the construction occurred while building these greenhouses. So let's get into it. All right, number one, we're gonna start with the chicken tunnel behind me. That's what I call this is the chicken tunnel. And this would be a novice level greenhouse. It's a very simple construction very simple materials and relatively inexpensive to build. So this is the chicken tunnel. This is a really simple standard high tunnel. It's 20 feet long, it's nine feet across and it's seven feet on the inside in the center. It's single skin poly. It's very, very simple. There's no special features here. There's no roll up sides. There's no venting. It's just single layer and um, I'm using it for the, for the reason uh, for my chickens, but you could use the same greenhouse uh, for anything else. Uh, the thing about a greenhouse like this is it's, it's only three seasons. I'm getting a winter season out of it by putting my chickens in it, but as far as crops are concerned, a greenhouse like this in a cold climate like mine is not going to produce crops for you in the winter. You could potentially overwinter some crops like some kales or brassicas or spinach and have them in there and eat from them throughout the winter, but they're not going to grow at all and they'll even be late to start compared to a greenhouse like that just because of the features and we'll get into all of those as we go through it. So on the exterior, there's really nothing special to this. Um, it's just single layer poly uh, with posts driven into the ground and uh, the basic features of this greenhouse is it's built with one and three eighths steel and the, the, they're coupled together on the inside with these, these couplings that you, that you see for those uh, shelter logic tunnels that people put over their cars. That's what couples that together. But it's a really, really simple greenhouse because it's just bare bones materials. The, the posts are, are hammered into the ground. So it's, the posts are uh, four feet apart. Your standard bow spacing is four feet. And there's, there's three foot pieces of 20 mil rebar hammered into the ground in a square pattern, though this one is far from perfect because it, it's temporary and it's just, I just kind of threw it up there really quickly. Um, but it would have been squared off, ground posts put in and then bows erected and so on and so forth. But it's a very simple greenhouse. And this is the kind of greenhouse you could use for a home garden. And it's a great place to start because you can build this thing for relatively cheap. This greenhouse all in is about $500 of materials. Now you might have to adjust some of those for today's crazy inflation prices, but I don't suspect a greenhouse this size with the materials that we're using would go anywhere near a thousand dollars. It's very, very simple stuff and it provides a very simple function, but can be effective in what you want it to do. Check out my site from thefield.tv. It's where I post all my vlogs and the vast majority of all my content. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one.